Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kazi and in this video we are going to learn about the endocrinology. So what exactly is endocrinology? It is the study of the endocrine system and the control by the hormone. Let's have a look at this picture. The brain in the center control the secretion of the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, the testes which secrete the major hormone testosterone, the ovaries which secrete estrogen and the progesterone. So all of these glands secrete the chemical messengers or the hormones which maintain the homeostasis throughout the body. So this is what endocrinology is all about. The pancreas secrete the insulin and the glucagon, the thyroid gland which is located in your neck. It secretes the T3 and the T4 which uh, regulate the metabolism throughout the body. So we have thymus in the thorax region and on the top of the kidney we have the adrenal glands. So what are the chemical messengers? They maintain homeostasis throughout the body and coordinate the body functions. We have divided the chemical messengers into six types. The important one include the neurotransmitters, the endocrine hormones, the neuroendocrine hormones, the paracrines, the autocrines and the cytokines. Let's have a few words about each of them. But in this series of videos, we are only going to discuss about the neuroendocrine hormones and the endocrine hormones in detail. Neurotransmitters, as you may already know about the neurotransmitters, these are secreted by the exon terminal. Have a look at this picture. We have the pre uh, synaptic membrane the post synaptic membrane when the vesicles you can see that the pink color they fuse with the pre synaptic membrane the neurotransmitters are released into the space between the pre and the post synaptic membrane and these neurotransmitters open or close the channels which are on the post synaptic membrane the endocrine hormones or we usually call them the hormones are secreted by glands so what are the glands glands are the specialized cells which secrete the uh, hormones so when these specialized cells or the glands secrete the hormones into the blood vessels they are reached to the target cell which is located at some other location of the body so the neuroendocrine hormone very similar to the endocrine hormone but these are secreted by the exon terminals the exon terminals secrete the chemical messengers into the bloodstream and the blood take them to the target cell which is located at some other parts of the body so the paracrine so the next three uh, new chemical messengers we are going to discuss are secreted by cells Paracrines are secreted by cells into the extracellular fluid and they influence the function of their neighboring cell which may be different or similar. The autocrines are secreted by cells into the extracellular fluid but they influence the function of itself. The cytokines are secreted by cell into the extracellular fluid very similar to the autocrines and the paracrines but they can function as the autocrines, paracrines and the endocrine hormone as well. The important example include the helper T cell which secrete the interleukin. These are cytokines in nature. Also the adipocytes secrete a leptin which is also cytokine in nature. So what are the functions of the hormones and why do we need hormones inside our body? Of course to maintain the homeostasis but the hormones has other function as well. The metabolism, the thyroid hormone secrete which is in your neck which secrete the T3, T4 hormone and it regulate the metabolism throughout the body. The growth hormone, human growth hormone increase the length and the thickness of the bone as well as the growth of the tissues. The development, the water and the electrolyte balance, a special hormone inside our kidney, aldosterone which regulate this. We have divided hormone into three major classes. Have a look at them. The protein and the polypeptide, the steroid and the amino acid derivative. So some hormones are proteins or polypeptide in nature, some are steroid and some are amino acid derivative. So we have divided them into separate classes. Let's have a look at the hormones secreted by the hypothalamus, the posterior pituitary, the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus. These are the proteins or the polypeptide in nature. Also the hormones secreted by the pancreas, it is also protein in nature and the 
parathyroid gland so the parathyroid gland is situated on behind the thyroid gland and it secretes the parathyroid hormone so all of these hormones are proteins and the polypeptide in nature so what are the hormones secreted by the glands which are steroid in nature on the top of the kidney you have the adrenal gland and if you cut the adrenal gland the outermost portion is the adrenal cortex so the hormones secreted by the adrenal cortex are steroid in nature the hormones secreted by testes testosterone and the ovaries which secrete estrogen and the progesterone are also steroid in nature so the amino acid derivative tyrosine what are the organs Adrenal medulla secrete two important hormones, the epinephrine and the norepinephrine is the amino acid derivative tyrosine in nature. Also we have the thyroid gland which secrete the T3 and the T34 hormone, tyroxine and the triiodothyronine which is amino acid in nature.